cloud base. It can be an elusive goal, even for experienced pilots. And for beginners in the sport, it can seem unattainable. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get to cloud base. I'll share some tips and tricks I've picked up over the years. You can follow along behind me. You'll be able to see my hands. So watch closely and enjoy the ride. So in this video, I'll show you the key elements of getting to CloudBase. You need the right weather, the right thermal, the right turn, and the right cloud. For the right weather, you're looking for cumulus clouds, somewhere above you, that are reachable. They need to be fed by thermals all the way from the ground, all the way up to the top and those thermals need to be strong enough. That is only gonna happen on some days in the year when the air mass is just the right quality. Check out your soaring forecast before you're going flying so you can get a good handle on what to expect for the day. And you're looking for something with a good lapse rate. That means a drop in temperature as you go up in altitude and that'll boost the thermals and keep you going up in the one column all the way up to the top. Right thermal is going to come from somewhere where there's exceptional heating. So look on the ground and try and identify places that are going to heat up more than others. And you're also looking for exceptional bits of terrain, the pointy bits, the bits that reach up towards the sky. That's where the thermals will trigger off. And if you can find big pointy bits, like the whole of the Alps, you've got a winner. Big terrain gives you a boost to the thermals. It's easy to follow them. They'll track up the slope. So look for the high points in the terrain. And lastly, you might be lucky if you find some sort of convergence. Look for two air masses coming together. For the right turn, you're looking to center tight on the thermal when you're low. It's much easier to hold onto a thermal if you're centering and you're coring tightly. If you widen your turn and you fall out into the sink, it's very difficult to find it again. And it's difficult to turn in those conditions. Make sure that you're shifting to stay with the core. That might mean you have to move your circle to the side where you're getting the strongest lift on your vario. Usually you widen your turn as you get higher because the thermal tends to expand and it tends to converge with other thermals. So you usually got more space as you go up. Be patient, take your time, and give yourself the freedom to drift so that you can just optimize your circles. All of that will be easier if you aren't up against the terrain. So move yourself out away from your ridge lines, away from the mountains a little bit so you've got some freedom. The right cloud is an A shape, not a V shape. So look around at the sky, make sure you're not thermaling up under something that's taller than it is wide, and keep yourself 45 degrees off the edge of that cloud. So as you're climbing up, you want to be able to see blue sky sort of up and above you towards the front. Leave yourself an exit so that you can always move out to the edge and into the sunny sky. Even if you're getting lift, you should be able to break out into the sunshine and not get trapped in the cloud. In most countries in the world, we're following VFR flight rules, which means staying visible, staying away from the cloud and not getting into the white stuff. Finally, you're up there. Well done. What do you do? Well, that my friends is the right glide. And that's for another episode. So thanks for watching. I hope this helps you get up to base. I hope you get to fly soon and get to feel that freedom that you get when you're at the cloud base and you can see for miles 
and you've got so many options open to you. Of course, there's a lot more to getting to Cloudbase. I'll go into much more detail in the extended edition available by joining down below, or if that's not available yet, on flywithgreg.com. You can sign up as a member, you get exclusive access to the premium content and many other learning resources. So I hope you'll join. Otherwise, the new films coming out every week on this channel. You're welcome to watch, learn, and get inspired. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. Cheers.